Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 5970 2GB GDDR5 video card. What's included with the HIS HD 5970 video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, Dirt 2 DirectX 11 game coupon, iClear one times PCI Express card, there are two power adapters, one is a 6 pin and the other is an 8 pin. There are three video adapters, a DVI to HDMI, DVI to VGA, and a mini DisplayPort adapter. It also comes with a Crossfire bridge and the HIS Gamers Toolkit. This toolkit includes a light, a screwdriver, a level, and a dust cleaner. The HIS iClear card is the latest solution to video card noise by reducing the distortion and noise generated from the graphics card. It reduces the noise distortion generated from both ATI and NVIDIA high-end video cards, TV tuner cards, and even hi-fi sound cards and provides up to a 10% increase on signal to noise ratio as shown in this chart. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2.1 and is based on two RV870 cores, which is built on the 40 nanometer manufacturing process and has 4.3 billion transistors. The cooler is massive and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heat sink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. It has heat pipes which are incorporated in the heat sink, there are lots of fins and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. This video card has three video connections, two DVI and a mini display port. But remember that they include a DVI to HDMI adapter as well as a DVI to VGA adapter if required. Also at the top is the Crossfire bridge connector. This video card requires two power cable connections. One is a 6 pin and the other an 8 pin. The maximum power consumption is 294 watts at maximum load and 51 watts at idle. So an excellent high wattage power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 725 megahertz and the two gigabytes of GDDR5 256-bit memory is 4 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 3,200 stream processing units for vertex, pixel, and geometry data, 160 texture units, and 64 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 46.4 gigapixels per second. The texture fill rate is 116 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 256 gigabytes per second. This product has too many technologies to cover in detail in this video but let me mention the main ones. It has TerraScale 2 unified processing architecture for physics. Image quality enhancement allows sharper scenes. Stream acceleration technology to run applications faster. Crossfire X multi-GPU technology allows dual, triple, and quad GPU scaling and power play power management technology which enables low power consumption at idle. It also has Ifinity technology which enables many displays to be connected at once. For example, three displays can be connected simultaneously and each display can have a resolution up to 2560 by 1600 which is an incredible amount of desktop real estate. While the other technologies are impressive, DirectX 11 really stands out, especially amongst gamers. This image clearly shows the difference between DirectX 10 and DirectX 11. DirectX 11 allows more eye candy because it gives game developers the tools required to produce mind-blowing graphics, effects, and much more. Additionally, a Vivo HD video and display technology enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. Finally, let's have a listen to the video card's fan at different fan speeds. The video card driver sets the fan speed automatically, but it also can be set manually.
As you can clearly see from the performance results, this is one very fast video card. As a matter of fact, this is currently the fastest video card on the market. It comes loaded with lots of features and technologies for today's games and upcoming games. Overall, without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.